What's going on guys, Agronix here and uh, welcome to a very very quick update. Uh, you didn't see a battle this weekend because there was a problem with the recording uh, as usual. I don't know why it's doing that and it's really annoying me because the battles were really really awesome. And um, so I'm just here gonna basically update you on what happened with the PCL and the EPL. Uh, I'll just play the battle in the background. Uh, I'm sorry this is a post recording. Um, uh, you know, what, can you, what can I say? I wanted to get uh, the live video up and it was a really, really fun battle, but um, unfortunately uh, there's nothing I can do about it. This match we had against Andrew, um, we were 7-0 uh, and oh, and Andrew was 3-4, and four, and it was a really, really good battle. Um, you skip a few turns here, Miltank is going for Bulldoze, I go on my size with Toad because I think I can get my rocks. Uh, he goes for Bulldoze a few times as I just go for... Uh, Bull, uh, toxic. Uh, predicting him to go out here, I go for Earth Power, thinking he might want to go out into the Metagross. And right here, he goes for Grass Knot and one shots my Seismitoad. Now, I knew that Seismitoad, or gosh, I knew that Grass Knot was a possibility. I'm not gonna pretend that I didn't. I honestly did. And you can pretend to, you know, believe me or not. I, I did know that this thing got Grass Knot. But, I didn't know if he went into the, this thing because he had Grass Knot. Or because he was trying to take the toxic. Also, he had to be—he had to have a certain amount of investment to live, or sorry, to kill with grass knot. So he was life orb, which helped. But um, yeah, so we lose our size with Toad turn seven, which was the main stop to like half his team. So you can kind of see what happens here. Uh, I bring in my Hydreigon. He goes for Bullet Punch. Nice play. Uh, and as I just go for Dark Pulse and kill the thing. Um. He goes into uh, Tapu Fini, who I was really, really scared about. Uh, Sizertrope was a good check to it, but uh, Scizor is as well. Um, I was so scared about the Entei coming in every single time that I always clicked U-turn against this thing every single time uh, when I could have easily healed up my Scizor, and that would have helped me take on things like the Togekiss, which you'll see in a while is going to come and bite me in the ass. Uh, we go for Air Slash, we just kill the Miltank, that thing dies. Um, he goes into Tapu Fini, which I was expecting the Garchomp, but I U-turn out, and I decided to go back into my Scizor, because it's just the best thing to go into. Uh, he goes for Ice Beam. I thought he would, because Hydreigon and, uh, Torn wouldn't want to take it. He doubles out. He goes into Garchomp, so you'll notice he doesn't never, he never goes into Entei, which really, really fucking sucks, because I was really prepped for it. So, I go into Torn, I double out into Tapu Koko. I wanted to find out if he was Choice Scarf, and if he was Choice Scarf, he'd go for Outrage or Stone Edge. He goes for Stone Edge. I'm like, alright. I'm gonna stay and go for Inver Ice. He's Yachi Berry. And then he kills my Tapu Koko, which uh, was one of the main things to kill Torn and uh, Tapu Fini. I come into Torn, I kill that thing. In comes Bork Bork, the Entei. At this point, uh, I just need to let uh, Scizor go down. I need to. Uh, Scizor actually doesn't die to the Stone Edge, funnily enough, and I get to get a bull punch off, which is nice. But then he just kills me to take a fire, so it's it's whatever. Uh, I go into Incineroar, the new uh, debut for the team. I go into Incineroar, Lionheart, and he does pick up a kill earthquake. I was Troy Scarf. Unfortunately, though, he does get to go into Togekiss here. Please flinch. Uh, it doesn't matter if he did flinch or not. I mean, I was going for earthquake. I was Troy Scarf. I had nothing I could do right here. Uh, I go for earthquake. You can see it does nothing. And he kills me. I go in a Hydreigon because I know uh, I can take a hit from this thing and I can go for Flash Cannon. Uh, I go for Flash Cannon, I'm Scarf. A Hydreigon as well. And I take the Air Slash. Right here, I should have doubled. And the reason being is because I would have won the game if I doubled. If I doubled out into Tor or Torn, I would have got two Sludge Waves off on this thing. He couldn't go back in a uh, Togekiss because it would have died. I would get two Sludge Waves off so I'd come back into... Hydreigon and hopefully been able to kill with uh, Flash Cannon and then you know I would have killed this thing afterwards and because of that I put myself in a position where a flinch would lose me the game and a flinch did lose me the game so I can't be too upset I lost uh, it came down to a 60% um, I definitely should have played the game better um, I definitely take the L uh, Andrew played fantastically over in the PCL it's the same deal we played DJ a few days ago, and it went uh, pretty similar. Uh, he leaves with Stunfisk, I leave with Chiron Black. I'm like, oh, alright, I'm just gonna play it safe, gonna go for Ice Beam first turn, no reason to predict. Uh, really wish I did, looking back. I wish I should have just. I go for Earth Power here just because I thought, you know, he might U turn and stuff, but he goes for Wish. And, um, 
Wish Jirachi is really strong. Um, I didn't know, I didn't realize how strong it was. And this really, really opened my eyes to it because that thing is, it's pretty busted. It's pretty busted if you can't kill it, which um, you'll see that I couldn't. He goes for Protect right here, um, just scouting me out. So I get a free swap back into my um, Kyrim. From seeing how much he did with Iron Head with the Arcanine, I can safely say that this Jirachi is not offensive, especially because he just went for Toxic and Wish, so... Um, I know this thing can't touch Scizor. He has Toxic, Wish, Protect, and Iron Head. He cannot touch Scizor at all. He does go out in a Stun Fisk. I decide to go for U-Turn. I, I don't get Static, which is nice, but I do take Rocky Helmet damage. I go back into Kyrim, and I decide to go for Ice Beam right here, because I thought the switch was way too obvious. I do get the play right, and I kill this thing. See? The crit there didn't matter. It was, uh, like 90% in my favor, so... He needed a max roll, DJ, that, that's not my set. I can show you my set in a second if you want. Uh, he goes back into Jirachi. I was close to clicking like... Oh, actually, I go for Bullet Punch here because I knew if I went for Knockoff, then he'd swap out. Uh, but he swaps out, trying to take a Bullet Punch. He takes a U-turn with Manaphy, and then I get to go into Verizion. Or actually, I went to Tapacoco. I could have gone on either. And I decide to go uh, just, I believe, straight for a U-turn, uh, yeah. So, at this point in the game, I was really planning. Um, it's just, uh, right here, right here I should have gone for Bullet Punch. There was no reason not to. Nothing wanted to swap in, and if Jirachi did, it didn't take me on. Uh, man, if he did, I'd just U-turn out. If I Bullet Punch right there, I would have possibly... What do you say? So, I go for U-turn, does 40%, not even 40%, it, yeah, it does 40%, uh, overall after the U-turn from Coco as well. I go for close combat, now I wanting to predict as he goes into Crobat. And uh, I double out here because Rizion's how I win this game. I go into Arcanine, uh, just trying to see what he wants to do. Uh, he goes for Super Fang and he misses, which is really, really unfortunate. Uh, on DJ's part, that really sucks for him. He goes for Taunt, uh, as I just go for a Flare Blitz and I get a huge crit. That was a huge crit. I believe Flare Blitz is still a 2 AKO, KO, uh, but after Black Sludge it might not be. Uh, I double out on Tapu Koko because I knew he would go for Roost because of his set. And right here I go for Wild Charge and I kill the Crobat. Uh, it was a speed tie and he said that he could have gone for Super Fang um, or whatever. I don't know what he would have gone for but he did stay in so. I U-turn out. I go into Milotic who is specially defensive. Um, and you'll notice that I believe this, turn, this game is like 100 turns. I knew he'd do this where he'd go in a Chiron but I couldn't stop him. And uh, I didn't have Dragon Tail. Or I had Haze to stop Manaphy. And he goes for Sub. And I go into Scizor. I make the right play going into Scizor. And I'm like, alright, I can stop this one time. But that's it. This is the one time I can safely stop a Kyrim's Bullet Punch. I can't stop anymore. And even that cost me one mod. You know, I have to be very, very careful. So I know he's leftovers now. So I can go into Verzion. I can just go for close combat. Uh, he goes into Nidoqueen. And I really should have predicted something. Uh, I should have brought Zen Headbutt on Brizion. If I did, I... Spoilers, I probably would have won. Um, because... I had x Scissor Instead of Zen Headbutt for Tangrowth, which I was more afraid of. Realistically, I, I shouldn't have been. I go for Ice Beam right here. As he goes into Manaphy. I was thinking about predicting that going for, like, an Iron uh, Earth Power or something. He just kills me off Dazzling Gleam. And at this point, you'll notice that, um... Brizion easily wins this game. I just need to make the right plays. I go for Leaf Blade here as he goes into Jirachi. I should predict that as well. Close combat was also a guaranteed kill. I would have been able to two-shot this Jirachi. And uh, I'm not going to waste your time anymore, to be honest. Uh, it was just that. Uh, him switching around, toxicing my mons, being able to stall them out. Uh, and it really sucked. And uh, I... Right here, I went for Brave Bird on the Chiron predicting Nidoqueen. And that lost me the game. If I Dazzling Gleam right there, I would have won. Because between my Lodic being able to stall these out and Tapcoca being able to get extra damage off, I would have been able to kill them both with uh, Brizion. He goes for Dragon Pulse right there, uh, which was lucky on my part, but then I go for Dazzling Gleam the next turn. Or I go for Brave Bird again. To be honest, I should have Wild Charged if I really like thought that he would swap, swap out, which I did. But I go for Wild Charge, I get off a ton of damage, and he just wishes up. And story of the game, and I can't kill this Jirachi. And, uh really sucks. To be fair, we got pretty unlucky, and I'll show you the unluckiness right there. Uh, Tepe Coco does go down. I double out into my Lodic. Doubles into Kyrb. He goes for Sub. 
and uh, I go for Ice Beam. Two Ice Beams does break this thing soft, but he does have pressure, so I don't have that many Ice Beams. Uh, I do uh, break this thing, I go for Recover. Uh, at this point, I actually didn't notice that my Lalic was getting hurt. Um, and I fucked up really, really badly by just letting my Lalic just go down. He swapped out into Jirachi. Uh, I go for Skull, predicting that, and I get a crit, which is nice. But didn't really break the game. Uh, I go for Skull again. Uh, a burn there would have helped. But, you know, we, we don't get any of those. He goes back into Kyrim. I knew that. I went for Ice Beam. And he lives on one. You know, it was a roll, of course. But the fact that I didn't win that roll really uh, cemented the game. And there's nothing I could do at that point. Um, see, like, I... The thing is about this game, I knew what he was doing all the time. And I made all the right plays. It's just I didn't really get... Uh, Rewarded first, which really sucks, and that's this game. Actually, I really, really hate this game. I hate this game because I feel like I should have won. I feel like I played better in the early parts. It's just that I didn't prepare well enough for a sub Kyrim. Kyrim is a man that I didn't even really think he'd bring. Um, you know, and to lose just just the stall, it sucks. Um, I knew he could do it, but I I should have invested something in my Lotic. I should have done the calcs and stuff. But you'll notice that I mean. It didn't really matter in the end, even if I did calc it so that where Ice Beam would do more. He did have pressure, so eventually he would have just been able to stall me out. I believe it's around here where I actually run out of Ice Beams. Uh, it might not be here, but basically he gets a crit on that Dragon Pulse as I go for Ice Beam. Um, which was unfortunate, actually I didn't even notice he got a crit there. But I do live, and instead of recovering, which I should have, I go for Scald, and I still don't get a burn. So, you know, any burn, if I got any burn, that means he wouldn't have been able to sub later. I go into Verzion, and this is where I think Zen Headbutt would have won me the game, because I actually could still win at this point. It would have been a 1-0, but basically I go for close combat. And then he brings in Verzi uh, Nidoqueen. If I got a high roll uh, Zen Headbutt, I don't know his, his uh, you know, thing, but basically you'll see how much Zen Head, like, Leaf Blade does. That does so much. And then I would I would still ha would have, you know, one more hit in, and Jirachi was at... Well, like 14%, 11%, so I would have been able to win then, but uh, it would have been a roll on Nino Queen. I don't even think it would have killed, but, you know, I still, I, I, yeah. He, he says he didn't make it easy. Uh, I don't, I don't like that kind of play style. Um, you know, I have my walls, but they're walls. They, 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 they come in, they take hits, and then they die. Uh, you know, it just sucks that it came down to a bit of a stall. Um, and I wish that this had gone better. We're out of the EPL. Uh, we lose in the semi-finals to DJ. Uh, I mean, I beat him 5-0 in the first round, so I can still say that, you know, I still did pretty well over the season. Uh, the PCL with Andrew, that's that's whatever, because that's one loss out of so many, you know, uh, games to come. That's whatever. I can afford to lose there. I really, really wanted to do well in the EPL because we actually finished first in the regular season. We did the best out of everyone. And to go out like this, uh, it's just kind of sour. Um, especially because I put a lot of time and effort into the build. And it's just a few, you know, tiny plays. Um, you know, not bullet punching Kyrim. Um, you know, not predicting correctly with Verzion on the Manaphy. If I clicked close combat on the Manaphy when Jirachi, Jirachi swapped in, I would have two shot the Jirachi. And he could have swapped in Nidoqueen Queen afterwards, but that's fine. But he still would have been very, very low on Jirachi. But I think the, the biggest thing for me is that Melodic was such setup for him. Set up for Nidoqueen's Queen Stealth Rock, set up for Jirachi's Wishes, Toxics, set up for Kyrim's uh, Substitutes, set up for, um, you know, possibly Manaphy if it was Tail though. I don't even know what the Manaphy was. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the, that's the the week. Uh, sucks that I have to plug this into a video uh, and just throw it up, but it's really what it is. Uh, we lose two weeks, but... I think I've gotten over it. I was really, really bummed out because I was like, you know, two weeks, two losses in a row really, really sucks. Especially when it's a playoff game where I feel like, you know, I really, obviously, like, I easily could have won this game if I just made a few better plays. Um, but I guess that's every game, you know. So, 
yeah, uh, that's the video. Um, the Elysian League uh, draft will be, uh, or, or you know, draft recap will be up in a few days. That's gonna be really, really fun to do. Uh, talking about, you know, what I got and what my thought process was about it. A really, really cool team. I think you guys will enjoy seeing it. And um, you know, just uh, the P e BPL is over. I'm not gonna be participating in season two because I just have too many stuff going on. The EPL draft literally starts as my exam starts. That's just not. I can't do that. Uh, and I believe the PCL will be finished uh, before May, so I should be able to finish the PCL while still keeping it, uh, you know, still treating it with, you know, well, you, what, you, what are the words I'm thinking of? Well, well, still like thinking about it a lot, you know, not just like a half-assing it because I want to do well. And I, I enjoy these games, and for a while I was just like, I really, really fucking hate Pokemon after these games because I, I, I'm being honest, I'm being honest, I'm being honest. I was really, really bummed out. But I realized I still really love playing uh, competitive Pokemon, and I still want to. Uh, it's just I do need to take a step back to a certain extent, because if I'm playing three games a week, which was what, what my plan was to a certain, for a while, to a certain extent, that's just insane. I can't play three games a week, prep for three individual opponents, seek them out while keeping other things at bay. That's just not realistic. So. The Elysian League is going to start up very, very soon. The PCL is very, very near the playoffs. We're in the last four weeks, and then we uh, jump into the playoff round. I believe we're guaranteed at this point. Uh, we could forfeit all our games, and I think we still go through. So that's cool. Um, but um, the Elysian League is another league, um, another season for the Elysian League, and uh, one that I definitely want to do well in. I'm gonna actually going to be doing um, Pick'em Cruise. I don't know if that video went up, or even if I uploaded it. I think I did. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, the pickup cruise, that should be fun as well. So, this is a lot of stuff going on, and uh, I just want to throw this video out there and say these battles were recorded, the audio just didn't work, the file was corrupted. Uh, well, sorry, the audio didn't work for one, the file was corrupted on another. Uh, basically, when I stopped recording, it just was like Bandicam stopped working, and I was like, oh fuck. So, I went into the file thing and I tried to fix it, but it was just like, nah, I can't fix it. So, that's that. Uh, next week, uh, or I mean, this week coming. Uh, we will play Knox uh, in the PCL, and uh, I will, you know, we'll see, actually, I don't know about the Elysian League, I don't know if we'll have our first week this week, we probably won't, because uh, the draft is, like, finishing up as I speak, which is Tuesday, we're trying to get in the last few picks, so, realistically, we probably will start the next weekend, we can hope, I really, really hope we do, because I just want to get the season, you know, kick it off strong, I just want to go for it, uh, well, I don't really want to sit around, and also... We have a fucking bomb schedule. We have we play some of the best battlers I consider on Amino. So, you know, to go up against them and hopefully play well would be great. But uh, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to have you slam the like button down below for us and subscribe for not already. To become a member of the Agronauts, that being said, have yourselves a wonderful day and bye-bye.